The Northwest Regional Health Authority is taking local health care to the next level with the construction of a linear accelerator facility. A linear acceler accelerator or LINAC is the device most commonly used for external beam radiation treatments for patients with cancer. Bjorn Batiste reports. History was made on Thursday with the signing of a contract between the Northwest Regional Health Authority and the China Railway Construction Company for the construction of Trinidad and Tobago's first state-of-the-art linear accelerator facility. Health Minister Terence De Alsing said the construction of the LINAC Center gives government more control over the distribution of health care services and lessens dependence on partners in the private sector. But what we are doing with this LINAC is expanding our reaction and our preparation to treat people with cancers via external beam radiation. In St. James, we currently provide chemotherapy. So at NRC, you will have external beam radiation. We have low-dose rate brachytherapy. We have high-dose rate brachytherapy. We have radioactive seed implant. We have chemotherapy. We have hormone therapy. We have breast and gynecology services. We have palliative care and supportive care and counseling. Services that are not under the umbrella of, of NRC, many of those are provided by the other RHAs. We're told that once completed, the LINAC Center will offer more targeted treatment for some tumors. A reduction in waiting times, it will potentially minimize treatment-related side effects and will positively impact patient survival. Contractor Meng Yan said his company is open to partnering with other companies to provide the best possible facility to citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. China Railway is confident that we can complete the project within the shortest time and with high quality and safety control. I'm sure that this project will be another successful cooperation between China Railway and the Ministry of Health. The Lenac Center will be constructed within the St. James Medical Complex and will cost taxpayers an estimated $84,299,000. Minister Dayal Singh said if all goes as planned, the project will be completed in 13 months. Dion Batiste, C News.